action replay. It's something many of us have wanted for a very long time. Fortunately, a version of it does exist and has actually existed for quite a few months now. This is a mod called Flight Recorder, released back in February, and in this video we're going to take a look at how well it actually performs. So, it's a very uh, simple installation, a very small download. We'll include that at the end of the video. I'll give you some instructions on how to install it and use it if you actually uh, need that. But first up, we'll take a look at how well it performs so you can decide if you actually want to try it out for yourself. Now, you can see Flight Recorder is uh, loaded up. It's on the top right hand of the screen, the right hand corner of the screen. I've clicked the uh, Stay on Top button. You don't have to do that. That's simply a personal decision so we can see what's going on. Of course, you're completely free to fly anywhere in the world with more or less any plane. I think there is some limitations with the A320. It doesn't work quite too well with that, but it works with pretty much every plane, every other plane that the sim comes with. Now, as soon as you're in the plane and you want to get going, just click that record button on Flight Recorder and fly your plane as normal. You can go where you want, when you want, pretty much make the flight as long as you want. So, like I said earlier, you don't need to keep Flight Recorder on the top. If you feel that's getting in your way, just minimise it out the way and you can just fly the sim as you normally would. So, Flight Recorder essentially records all the flight plan of the actual flight you're undertaking here. So, just so it's clear, it doesn't capture any video footage or anything like that. It simply captures data points that can then be replayed, allowing the Flight Recorder to refly the plane. So we're doing a bit of a random flight here just through the Grand Canyon. Uh, not optimal flight speed here. You'll see a couple of warnings where I get a little bit too low on the flight speed. But that really isn't the uh, focus here. We're just simply doing a basic flight just to capture some data. And there's uh, another reason that, that I want to do this that I'll show you uh, slightly further into the video as well. So some of you may be wondering why would you even want to use an action replay? Well, there's a whole bunch of different reasons for that. One. Uh, especially for video content creators like myself, is to create, capture and create loads of external camera footage. Another reason is you may want to refly the plane. So perhaps you made a mistake at some point and you want to re refine things back to the point before the mistake and then replay from there. You'll be able to do that. Thirdly, you can even share a flight with another person if you want. So once you've finished recording, just click the stop recording button. Click, here we go. And you can click on replay. Save it if you want to save it by all means. But click replay. It'll put you right back to the start of the flight. And you can then scrub back and forward through the flight. First, you do need to pause it though. And there we go. Scrubbing through that timeline. Also, keep in mind that at any time during the re replay, you can click stop replay and manually take control of the plane. At any rate, we are replaying here. And now Flight Recorder is controlling the plane in exactly the same way that I initially flew it. So this allows me to do a whole bunch of other things, most importantly for me being a video content creator and I know uh, plenty of you out there will probably enjoy doing this as well, is the ability to jump out into the external cam or the uh, showcase cam in this case and then witness your flight from any camera angle that you may desire. And there you go, we can scrub through the timeline from a different perspective. So I'm going a little bit rough and ready with the camera controls here, they're not, uh, not set to the ideal settings or speed. But this sort of replay really allows you to get some nice action shots. We can do a bit of a flyby there. Again, a bit rough and ready, but I think it gives you the idea of what you can do with this. Now, it's not just about replaying from different camera angles and all that. What you can also do is change the time of day and weather as well. So we're flying here at 9am. We can change the time of day to absolutely anything we want the plane will just carry on flying as it did on its original flight path. We can change the weather. And there we go. And again, keep in mind, we can take control of the plane at any point here. There we go, a bit of snow in the Grand Canyon. Also, sometimes you may have a bit of problems if you change the weather too drastically. You can see the uh, changing it to storm had a bit of an impact on the flight there. It's trying to get control back over itself again and uh, switching it back to clear the plane gets control of itself quite quickly. So yeah, no issues there. Now, as if that wasn't enough, here is where it gets really, really interesting. Say you wanted to try that same flight with a different plane. So we're going to try the Cessna Citation, the CJ4 here. 
going to load in any location in the world. It absolutely doesn't matter what location you choose. Click ready to fly. Now we've still got the same flight path open. Click replay and it jumps the airplane to the exact right location and puts it on the same flight path. Now there is one thing you're going to need to be careful of and this is why I mentioned the flight speed early on in the video. So say for example you were flying a Cessna 152 and you're only flying at say 60 knots. If you jumped out to a, a 747 and then try to reuse the same action replay you're going to find that the 747 really doesn't perform too well at 60 knots. So yes you can switch between planes but you really need to be aware of the uh, speed you're flying at and whether the other plane can actually perform at those uh, sort of levels. So aside from that, it's absolutely a brilliant tool that lets you do pretty much anything you can want. What's more, this is entirely free and we're going to take a look right now at where you can download it and how to install it. The tool then can be found on the website flightsim.to and there is a link in the video description below. The tool is called a Flight Recorder, as we've mentioned. Simply come to the website and click the download button. But you all want to make sure you do have an account and logged in. Once you're logged in, you'll get the option to download. And once we've got that, you can see basically it's a little zip file around about 60 megabytes in size, very small then. Just extract that using whatever extraction tool you tend to use. Go into the Flight Recorder folder, there's no installation process here at all, and then we just load up flightrecorder.client. And it really is as simple as that. This puts us back to the beginning of the video, and just follow the methods I've used there to use the Flight Recorder tool. Very, very straightforward and very powerful as well. If there's any tools you'd like me to take a look at in the future, do let me know in the comments section below. I'm sure there's a whole bunch out there that I'm not even aware of, so I'd love to hear from you. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.